Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I decided to make this video which I thought would be a good idea because I really have never talked about this with you guys. So basically, um, recently I I finally got an internship. I haven't, I don't think I will review the company for now. I actually mentioned in one of my comments. So if you want to check that out, um, feel free to do so. But I actually like after a lot of um, work, a lot of um, months preparing, um, I finally ended up having getting an internship, which made me extremely happy. I'm extremely happy with the opportunity that I got. But I thought it would be very valuable for you guys um, to show basically um, a part of my resume that, that the resume that I used to, to get accepted and um, basically go over all the projects that I put in that resume. So for this resume, I actually had four projects and it's not th th like they're not still in my newest version of my resume. However, I thought that this would be the best one to show because this one was actually the resume which got me the internship. So I'm going to be going over each one of them in order from like oldest one, like the one I did first to um, the one I did last. And most of them are open source in the sense that most of them are, are in GitHub. So if you want to check them out, go check them out. Be aware that like some of them are not as like I haven't touched them in a long time. So if you try to go to their website, um, it will 100% crash the, the, the website because I haven't I don't even know. I don't even remember that much of its code. So I don't ha and I'm not focusing on them. So that's just a reminder. And before we actually get into the video, if you guys could leave a like and subscribe, that would massively help the channel because um, you guys know that I'm trying to grow the channel and um, it will really help the algorithm. So if you haven't done so, please leave a like and I would really appreciate it. Okay, guys, so here I have my resume and immediately you can see um, I'm just showing the projects section of my resume. Um, and let's go over each one of them. I'm going to actually start from the bottom and actually give a backstory to all of them. So first, I have um, Polyblock, which as you can see, it's a mobile game. So you guys probably didn't expect that because I never make videos on mobile games or on games in general. But before I came to college, I actually was really interested in game development. So I spent most of my time coding on Unity, um, using C Sharp, and I, I absolutely loved it. I still like it a lot, but I, I prefer, I think I'm more skilled in the web development industry. So I'm not really interested in changing to the game development anymore. So, so basically, Polyblock um, is just an app. It's a, it's a game that I made on Unity. It's a 2D game. I have here the repo, as you can see right here. Um, the code is horrible. I, I uploaded this after I made, I actually made this in 2019 before going to college, in the summer before college. And it took me about three weeks to make it um, and publish it. It was available in the App Store and the Google Play Store. It's still available in the Google Play Store because you only have to pay $25 once, I believe, and it's there forever. But for the Apple Store, like, you have to pay $99 per year. So I just didn't renew it because no one was downloading the game. But as you can see, um, I'm going to go over the code. It's all built in C sharp and I used unity. So like all the packages over here, all of them are mainly um, attributed to unity. We can see that in assets, there are many things I did, I created animations, the audios, um, materials, I used a bunch of materials, um, resources, all the kind of stuff and the textures, which are like all the pictures and because I made it's basically a game, I can put a, a little um, video of me playing the game over here, if I still have it. But basically, it's a game that um, allows you to keep jumping. I'm going to leave a link in the description. It's actually pretty nice, in my opinion, I'm really, really, I was really happy with it. And there's like many different characters that you can cho you can choose. And you can see that if I come over here, um, there's also the scripts. Um, if I find it over here, I wrote like a, a 100 different scripts. Um, I don't know why I just didn't want to write everything in the same files. And the code, I'm going to be straightforward with you guys, the code is horrible, like literally, it's horrible. I'm going to go here to I think it's player movement.cs. Look at this. I, I don't remember making this, but this is the code. It's like a huge file. But you are you probably already saw what happened, right? Uh, I have in the middle of, of my start my update function, I have a huge um, <laughs> if statement, like massive, which is completely unnecessary. I could have just changed this like, um, I don't know, 100 lines of code to only two lines of code. Because if you realize, it's just an if statement asking if um, the player um, integer, which is basically like which player you chose is equal to nine or eight or whatever. And then if it is, I just um, change the sprite to that number. So what I could have basically done is I could have just like wrote these two lines of code and just put inside of the array index, um, this value over here, and it would update accordingly. But no, because I, I didn't know how to code back then, like I knew it, but I wasn't like, 
as killed. I haven't. I, I, I was still in high school and I had never taken a, a programming course in my life. It was all self-taught. So <laughs> that just makes me cringe a bit because this code is horrible. But that goes to say that you don't need to have the best code ever to um, put a project in a resume because um, I, I honestly think that it was still like impressive at the time that I made this. Um, I, I'm really proud of it despite the code being really bad. Now, um, this was the first project. Now let's go to actually the, the second project, which was um, the beginning of my web development journey. So the second project, um, I believe was, yeah, it was um, Spotty Love, which is a dating website. I don't know why I called it Spotty Love. Um, I just, I'm bad with names. But basically, this is a website where you're, it's kind of a, like a dating website, it's like a Tinder, but it matches people based on their Spotify musical preferences. And I don't know why I came up with this idea. I think I was just browsing through the Spotify API and I just thought of it. And I really wanted to do something using Socket.io. So um, I, was, I really enjoyed making it uh, as a whole. But basically, this is the website over here. Um, I wouldn't like it's just this is the main page, you can see login with your Spotify account and enjoy meeting people with the same musical taste as you, you can click over here, you can it will prompt this up. Uh, you can log in with your account. And you can see like your favorite songs will appear. Uh, okay, you, can, you guys can see my favorite songs, right? Okay, so actually those are not my favorite songs. Um, like I've heard them before. I, I, like they are in my, my listening feed, but like, <laughs> I don't know. It's I, I find it weird that they are on my top 20. They're kind of weird. But you can see that on the left, you have like a chatting system. Um, and yeah, I, I'm, this is actually, it's, it's still remembered the people that I matched. This was my old employer, which I, I matched to show him. So how it worked, but you can send messages like this. I'm just write it over here, click send and the message will go automatically and they can send it to you as well, which is really awesome. The thing I really liked about this website was um, basically creating the algorithm which matches people. So like I can I can click on rematch as you can see over here. And it will say yes. And you can see I was matched. Um, I get I think this is <laughs> one of my friends. But basically, um, you can just match with people based on your musical taste. And the algorithm, I'll go to the code if I can. It's on my GitHub if you want to check it out. But basically what I did with the algorithm is I just um, got the person's top 20 songs, um, created a list with every single like artist from the songs because the API didn't like specify ge musical genres um, based on the song itself. So I had to go to each artist and then get like the, the, the musical style um, based on the artist and then s run a function which matches which um, like which people had um, some similar um, style, right? So what I did is, so I randomly chose like five people from the database and ran a function which matched them individually and gave them a score based on the the compatibility of their, their songs, right? And if the score was above, I think like 0 0.7 out of one, um, they mean they matched. If it wasn't, then it, it chose five more random people in the database. So that's kind of how it worked. And I, I ended up really liking the design. I know it's not extremely efficient. Like I, I matched with some people who I don't um, think we have uh, like similar musical taste, but um, it, it works in most times. Now, I wouldn't recommend using this if you're, if you're interested in it because literally it's, I, was, I just made it for fun. Like there's no, <laughs> There's nothing here, you know, there, there, no one uses this website, so you won't be able to talk to anyone. And if I see people like entering, this, I still have access to the database. So if I see people doing weird stuff, I'm going to delete them from like delete their account. So basically, this was one of the projects. And I think it really showed um, that I'm able to learn new technologies, right? Because I had to learn WebSockets, I had to learn how to deal with um, really hard APIs, especially with API authentication, which was what I did with um, the Spotify API. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. Now, the third one that I actually um, had in my now the third project that I actually put in my resume is definitely one of my favorite ones. I always knew that I wanted to have this because I knew it showed a lot of skills. And I spent a lot of time doing it. It's a sorting algorithm visualizer, you guys have probably heard of it before you guys probably saw it before. Um, basically, I made all of this in react. And you can see that um, it's really cool in my opinion. Like for example, I'm gonna turn on, the, turn off the sound so it doesn't make any sounds, but you can generate new arrays. As you can see, it's completely automatic. You can run like bubble sort and it will literally show um, bubble sort as you can see right here. And I really love it. I, I, it really helped me learn about the algorithms. You can click on restart and for some reason it will just refresh the page. That's something that I should have had changed. Um, then you can run like heap sort as you can see. 
Uh, I really love the animation for Hipstar, but basically it's just an algorithm visualizer and it shows that I know the algorithms um, and that I am able to make something cool like a, an animation in React. Um, there's other, other types of algorithms if you want to check it out. I, I still don't know how, like, when you, I'm going to run merge sort for you guys, but for some reason my merge sort is extremely fast. That's something that I, I, I really didn't change, but I should have. Uh, I'm going to run it right now. You guys will see. It's I don't know what happens with it, um, but basically this is how merge sort is running. And I really don't, I, I wish I made it better, right? And you can see that sometimes some bugs appear, like this should be green. I don't know why it isn't. Um, but basically this is the idea. And I really recommend you guys doing one of we're going to put something in your resume. Either do like a, a sorting algorithm visualizer, um, do something like a, actually it would be really cool if you guys did something with graphs or binary search trees. Um, just something that shows that you guys know your data structures or that you guys know how to work with algorithms. Now the last project that I actually had in my resume, I really, it was my favorite one. It was the last one that I made that I put in that resume, if that makes any sense. It was when I decided to learn GraphQL. And I decided that I wanted to learn GraphQL by just building something. It was the first time I, I like I, I tried um, learning GraphQL. So that's, this goes to show um, that the method that I had to learning stuff um, really worked, which is basically you just build something. If you want to learn a technology, just choose something you want to build and just build it because you will constantly encounter problems that will force you to search on your own so that you can find answers, which then again reinforces your learning abilities. So what I built was basically so what I built was basically a Pinterest clone. And you, if you want to check it out, you can check it out. Um, some of these pictures, it wasn't me who put, I didn't put like uh, this pictures over here. I have a video on this in the past. So I think maybe people just went on the website and checked it out. But basically you can see the same um, Pinterest format. Everything is done with GraphQL. You can come here to login, like right over here. Click on this, it will load. By the way, my computer is kind of slow. That's why it's, it's slow, it's not the website. And you can see I can log in with Google um, if it lets me. Okay, so I can click on login over here and like a, an authentication um, like window should appear. I should like my, my Google account should appear over here and I should be able to just click on one of them. And and as you can see, it should log myself in. Um, let's see if it works. It's been a while since I touched this project, but um, it should send me to the first page, um, to the home page, and I should be logged in. Yeah, you can see now the nav bar changed and I have my beautiful face over here. But what you can do is you can just um, create pins. Um, um, you can also like check out the pins, you can save them, you can click on this. This was one of the, the pins that I made. Um, you can come here to my pins. This was the one, like the ones I posted, my account posted. Um, you can also, I don't think you can comment on them. Um, I, I don't think I wasted my time doing that, but um, you, you can see I posted more stuff that are not appearing in the home page. I can go to saved pins and saved pins are awesome. You can save them so that like it, pins that are not yours, um, which I think is really cool. Again, the website is kind of slow because of my internet and my computer, um, but I really enjoyed this project. I really, really enjoyed this project. I don't think it's 100% secure because I'm just doing um, Google authentication, but honestly, I think it's fine. Like it was just to teach me GraphQL and GraphQL was one of the skills that really got me my internship because um, it's a really well known skill. It's it's a technology that is extremely reliable. And I, I, I'm really glad that, glad that I actually learned it. So I was really happy about this. And I said, um, you don't have to have massive projects in your resume. If you think that these projects were like huge, and you're unable to make them, you're you will never be able to make them. This is just like, don't say that to yourself, you can definitely make them. I mo like, most of my of this projects right here were, were made in the time span of like four months, something like that. And it wasn't because I had, didn't have projects in the past. It's just because um, every time you make new projects, you kind of replay, you keep changing your resume, you keep improving your resume. So if you continue building, if you put in like one or two hours a day, if you're, if you're in school, or if you're out of school, just put more hours in, um, you'll definitely like be able to get a reward. Um, and do I think you should go out and recreate exactly the same projects that I that I created? No, absolutely not. Um, it might help people, people will probably not realize that um, that someone else already had this idea. But 
it's not like I didn't also get inspired by other people. Um, the reason why I made an algorithm visualizer is because I watched a video from um, Clement, which is a big YouTuber in programming. He talked about making um, algorithms. Did I copy his algor his sorting algorithm visualizer? No, I didn't watch. I knew he had a tutorial. I didn't watch that tutorial specifically because I knew that um, if I was going to make one, I had to actually understand it because it was going to be useful for my interviews. And that's just, that. that is what I think you guys should do. Um, I don't think you guys should actually go look at my repository for this project um, only if you're like just interested um, in knowing how I did it but not if you're gonna actually code something similar and overall I, I want to I wanted to make this video because making projects is one of the most important things when you're um, applying for jobs later on in the industry like you have already a few years of experience then you don't really need it because um, like if you have in your resume that you're working for Amazon or something like that, it's already pre pretty like it shows that you know how to code. Um, but if you're a student or you're an older person who is trying to get into the industry, um, just know that projects are, are the things that are going to set you apart. So I honestly think that these projects were the things that made me um, get my internship, which um, I really wanted to show you guys because because I really want you guys to succeed in the industry. That's why I post my videos and I really thought that this video might be useful. So what you guys thought about this project, let, leave a comment down below. Let me know what, what you guys think. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I see you guys next time.